Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Rebecca, Becky Bex. I don't mind what you guys call me. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another makeup comparison, or as I'm gonna call it, the makeup showdown. So it's basically where I test two makeup products and I find out which one is better for me. So this isn't to bash bands or anything, and just because if, if both items don't work for me, they, they might work better for you. But I'm gonna be testing out two concealers. So in this corner, I have the Eye Bright Vitamin C Concealer by Makeup Revolution. In this corner, I have the Technic 3-in-1 canvas contour sculpt and conceal concealer so this is a good way for me to find out which one gives the best coverage which one that doesn't crease and which one has the nicest packaging so i'm going to be testing one concealer on each eye and i'll let you guys know which one is my favorite and which one isn't my favorite so if you guys are going to enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by all my future videos don't forget to follow me on instagram if you want to link is in the description bar below so if you guys want to know my thoughts on both concealers and which one i think is the best and which one gives the best coverage and doesn't crease and which one has the best packaging just keep watching all right guys ding ding let's start the concealer showdown which one is better the revolution eye bright vitamin c concealer or the technic three-in-one canvas contour sculpt and conceal concealer which one is better? So I'm gonna start with this concealer first and it's gonna be applied on this eye. So this concealer retails for eight pounds on the Superdrug, Beauty Bay, Revolution website. So this, you see, it's a pretty affordable concealer. It's also meant to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury concealer, I believe so. So it says on the website, Tired eyes, this is your wake up call. Revolution's Eye Bright Concealer has been specifically formulated to target under eye circles, offering flexible, buildable coverage with a maximum level of vitamin C to actively treat the eye as you conceal. Oh, that sounds good. So let's get into this. I chose the shade Fair because uh, I thought it said it's like the lightest tone the lightest color for like f people with yellow undertone which is definitely me so, oh, after 10,000 years later I've got into the packaging oh don't know what I spelt the sponge for I'm so weird <laughs> so okay let's see how long this will take to wind up we go i can see it coming up oh i didn't have to wait too long so the product's right there you can see it coming out of the sponge okay let's wind up a bit more because i want to get loads more on there okay there we go that's proper coaty now coaty coated now i'm gonna apply this oh yeah that's a perfect shape for me i'm gonna do so i'm gonna do this side gonna sweep it down this side Okay, from feeling it the first time, this does feel very lightweight. I've got to bring it down here because my, uh, my L'Oreal Skin Paradise foundation, more well, tinted moisturiser is a bit too dark for me. So I've got to really bring it down my neck. It doesn't really have a smell to it and I've kind of, I have done way too much. But oh well. I'll just do the residue around my face here. Okay, just use my sponge, just gonna start blending this out. Okay, it's definitely got some coverage there. Like, yeah, it's very brightening under the eyes. The packaging, I would say, the packaging is really nice. It's very sleek. I mean, it will get dirty very easily, really easily. But, but I do like the packaging. Some people don't really like the sponge, though, because of hygiene reasons. It doesn't really have a smell to it. I'm going to add probably maybe just a little bit more to see if we can build the coverage up. I 
Okay, this does look beautiful under my eye. It looks really nice, really brightening. I'd say this is like a medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's full, but I love the way it looks my, under my eyes. It looks really, really brightening. Yeah, it's making my skin look really dewy as well. Yeah, it blends really nicely. Yeah, I really like that concealer. Okay, let's try the other concealer now. So this concealer retails for three pounds on the Wilco website. And I've heard this one has really extreme full, full coverage. So let's see what it says on the Wilco website. So it says here, the Technic 3-in-1 Canvas Concealer can be used to highlight, contour or cover. Use the shade to your natural skin tone to conceal lighter shades to highlight and darken shades to contour. The formula of the full coverage 3-in-1 Canvas Concealer is lightweight and seamlessly blends into the skin for a long-lasting flawless base and application. It's really easy with the Pacific Design Doe Foot Applicator. So I've heard some people saying this is a really good dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. You know, we can't really get that here in the UK with Tarte. So I'm just going to open it up. Oh, sorry. I got the shade Porcelain. Porcelain is my shade. So I'm just going to open it up. Whoa. Okay, that's a big doe applicator. That's huge. Doesn't really have a smell to this one. So packaging wise, I'd say it's pretty average. It's pretty average packaging. So let's see how much coverage this one gives. Put this one here. Yeah, they're both really good shades for me for lightening. Brightening under my eyes, sorry. Save me from cheating. I use this side for the Revolution one, so I'm going to be using the other side. So that way I don't cheat. Okay, so right off the back, this one is definitely a lot more mattifying than the other one. Like, this does feel a little bit more drying and it feels a little bit more matte than the Revolution one. So I'm just going to add a little bit more to see if we can get any bit more coverage. And just to see, yeah, just to see how it looks if we build it up, really. Okay, this adds a little bit more coverage than the Revolution one. This definitely has a lot more coverage, but this one is a little bit more drying than the Revolution one. So this one here is the Technic side. And this one here is the Revolution side. Yeah, I think it, my base looks a bit dewy because of that, um, because of that moisture, that L'Oreal moisturiser I put on. Right, I'm just going to complete the rest of my face and I will show you guys which side applies better with powder. Okay guys, I've just completed my makeup and done my powder. Okay, I've just turned down the brightness as well. So this is the Technic side. And this is the Revolution side. I have to say, with the Technic side, it is creasing a little bit more than the Revolution side. But the Re but the but the Technic side gives more coverage than the Revolution side. Mm, I don't know. I know I need to pick one, but <sighs> what do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below which one you think is your favourite. Oh gosh, I do like the coverage on the Technic side though. I do. I really, really do. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to pick, guys. I think they're both just as good. Like, obviously, the Technic has more coverage than the Revolution side, but I preferred the Revolution side because I liked the, the dewiness under the eyes. If I had to pick one, if I had to pick one, just to win the showdown... I'm probably going to have to go for Technic just because of the full coverage. I like the full coverage of it. Yeah. 
but it is a good concealer do not get me wrong and I do prefer the packaging of this one to the Technic one because it's a lot more fancy but yeah to win the showdown I think it's going to have to be Technic. It is a little bit more drying, however. So if you've got oily eyelids, I think you're going to love this. But I'd say if you've got more dry eye eyelids, then you're going to like this one a bit more. Which is shocking because my under eyes are more dry. And this one actually works. It works really well. Oh, and not to mention as well, I do prefer the applicator to this than the sponge applicator. I think the sponge applicator can be a little bit unhygienic. Um... I know you can both. I know you can use both products for contouring if you wanted to. I know you can get deeper shades to contour with the Revolution and the Technic, but applicator-wise, I do prefer the Technic one a little bit more. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you get notified by all my future videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye guys, take care.